Hello guys, it's Adam Waller from SPSS Boss.com. Today I'm just gonna be walking you through how to run the leverage test. The leverage test is a test for equality of variances or homogeneity of variances, and it is actually used as one of the main tests to check for the assumption of homogeneity of variance. The assumption of homogeneity of variance assumes that when you are comparing categorical variable based on a dependent variable that is scale, you want to make sure that the variance of those variables are the same before you can proceed with your test. Because if the variances of those categorical variables are different based on your dependent variable, then you might end up jeopardizing the validity of your test. What do I mean by jeopardizing the validity of your test? This means that you might make a type 1 error, which is the false positive, where you reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis that there is a statistically significant difference between the groups you are comparing. Say, for example, we want to compare the weight between female and male. The assumptions that we have to check before we can run an independent sample t-test, which would be the ideal test to compare male and female weight, but we have to make sure that the variance of weight for female and the weight for the male participant is the same. Then we can proceed with our test and we're not jeopardizing the validity of our test. So the traditional way to run the Levin's test is to go to analyze, compare mean, and go to the independent sample t-test. Here, you're going to put in your subject weight into your dependent variable and your gender into your grouping variable. You define that and you put one here and two here. One represents female participant and two represent the male participants in this data set. Continue and then click OK. As part of the independent sample t-test, you're going to get the Levin's test, which will determine how you'll proceed with your analysis. As you can see, in comparing the difference between male and female, the standard deviation for female is 10.6, and the one for male is 12.38. If you remember clearly, the variance is the square root of your standard deviation, so you can easily find out what the variance is. The standard deviation is actually close enough to each other, so you will assume that the variance is also close enough. If you look at Levin's test for equality of variances, you will see that the significant value is 0 0.095, which is greater than 0 0.05. And this shows that there is no significant difference in the variances between the female weight and the male weight. And this means that there is homogeneity of variance and you can easily proceed with reading this first line for the independent sample t-test. But if this value was to be less than 0 0.05, which means it's statistically significant different variances between the two categories, you'll be reading the equal variances not assumed. And that's why you usually use the Levin's test. Some people use this Levin's test as a standalone, but it's rarely the case where you use the Levin's test to actually find out if there's a significant difference in the variances or there's equality of variances between the categories you're investigating. You can also run the Levin's test as part of the one-way ANOVA or two-way ANOVA, whatever ANOVA you're running. As long as you're comparing mean, you have to make sure that there is equality of variance. For the ANOVA, we go to analyze, compare mean, and one-way ANOVA. Here again, we're going to put the dependent variable into the dependent list, and we're going to put our gender, which is our independent variable, into the factor list. Now, when you select the options, you would tick the homogeneity of variance test, which is also the traditional homogeneity of variance test you will carry out. There are different types of homogeneity of variance. This one we're using right now is based on the absolute difference for the mean. And this is the original Levin's test that was proposed by Levin's in the 1960s. But there is a new type of Levin's test you can carry out, which is assumed to be more robust than the mean Levin's. And we're going to run that now. But I just want to run this Levin's test using the one-way ANOVA procedure so you can understand that it's actually the same test that is being carried out for the same variable. So you click on Continue, and then you click on OK. When you observe the leverage test for the one way and over, and the one we got for the independent sample t test, what you'll find is that the values are exactly the same thing. Here it says leverage statistics, but here it says f statistics. But as you can see, it's the same thing because the values are the same, and the significant value is still the same, which actually 
confirms the fact that there is equality of variances between the weight of male and female participants, and we can proceed with the parametric test that we are about to use, provided that we've checked all the other assumptions, because the Levin's test of equality of variance is only one of the assumptions of using the parametric statistics. Now, I just want to show you what we've basically done by carrying out the Levin's test. What we've actually done is compare these two groups, the male and the female groups, based on the absolute weight mean. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's go to data and then go to aggregate. 